Welcome to Code.org App Lab Simple Personality Quiz Summer versus Winter with me, Tokyo EdTech. So today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how to make a simple personality quiz. Now if you haven't seen my uh, simple quiz app video, you probably want to watch that first. Or if you haven't walked through the Code.org App Lab uh, tutorial, you probably want to do that first. So what I want to focus on today is the coding. So I'm just going to show you uh, what the app looks like. I've already gone through the design phase. So you can see here, when we start the app, we have our main screen and a little bit of a label title. And it says, are you a summer or a winter person? And we have a start button. Now this obviously, there's not. I didn't take a lot of time to design this. Just trying to show the basic concepts. So my quiz has two questions. So I have a screen for question one, a screen for question two, and I have a screen for the results. So my question one is, do you like ice cream or hot tea? And question two is, do you like spicy food or not spicy food? And then based on that, we will give you a result. So I'm going to show you how to do this sort of thing. Now this could be used as, I know some of my students are doing, which friend's character are you? Or which uh, you know, Harry Potter house are you? Um, so you can use this basic concept to do all kinds of quizzes like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the coding. So I'm gonna go to, so assuming the design part is done, and assuming that you've labeled everything, you know, basically so that we know what everything is. Everything has a unique name and it is logical. So I'm gonna go back to the code part. So our very first screen is screen main. So there is a start button, and when I click the start button, I want to go to screen question one. So pretty straightforward. So I'm going to go to on event. And again, I explained this in my other video, the uh, simple quiz video. Or you, again, they have a very good walkthrough uh, tutorial here. So when I click on button start, I'm going to set the screen to screen question one. Now notice how easy this is to read because I've used good naming conventions. So I'm going to go ahead and run it and just test it. So I click start and it takes me to the first screen. So I'm going to go ahead and hit reset. Now this is where you have to think a little bit about how this is going to function. Now in the other video where it was just a score, either you had the, the question answers right or you had them wrong, we just kept track of the score. But here we need to keep track of whether you are a summer person or a winter person. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to variables and I'm going to scroll up and you'll see var x equals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say summer equals zero. Make sure you have the var there. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to var winter oops, equals zero. So when I start my program, I don't know. Am I a summer person or am I a winter person? So I'm going to go to my first question screen. You'll see ice cream. You'll see hot tea. So if you are ice cream, so what I'm saying is ice cream makes you a summer person, because you like to be cool, and hot tea makes you a winter person, because that's what you drink in the winter, at least here in Japan, it's what we drink. So I'm gonna go ahead and do again, on event. So if I click the ice cream button, I'm gonna do the following. I'm going to say that I am a summer person. So I'm going to say summer equals summer plus one. So I'm adding one to summer. Okay. Now, once I've selected that, I should go to screen question two. So I'm going to go ahead and add that part in there as well. So I'm going to go back to UI controls. I'm going to scroll down to set screen. And I'm going to go to screen question two. Now I'm going to do the same thing for hot tea. So I'm going to scroll up to on event. I'm going to do button hot tea. And in this case, it's going to be, I think that that means you're a winter person. And I'm going to say winter equals winter plus one. Okay, you notice when I click out of there, it you know fixes the blocks. Now I also got to do the same thing. I got to set the screen to screen question two. Okay. So let's go ahead and run it. 
And this is always a good idea to test it. So ice cream takes me to the next screen. I test it, oops, run it and test it again. Hot tea takes me to the right screen. And again, I'm testing it as I go along because it's a lot easier to fix a problem if I know where I just added the code. So if I had a problem there, I know the problem is here. Um, beginners, I don't know why, have this tendency to just try and code everything and then go back and test it and they don't know what they're doing. Okay, so this is my advice to you. So anyway, so let's go to question two. So it says, do you like spicy food or not spicy food? So again, in my case, I'm gonna say spicy food means you are a winter person and not spicy food means you are a summer person. Now this is just my opinion, you can choose what you want. So I'm gonna go ahead to on event, I'm gonna drag that down here, and we're gonna say button spicy means that you are a, I'm not sure what I just said, was that summer or winter? But it uh, doesn't matter, we can just kind of play around with it. So I'm gonna say if you like spicy food, you are, I guess we'll keep it consistent. We'll say you are a winter person. And winter equals winter plus one. And again, we're gonna go ahead and set the screen to result. Okay. Now there's a little extra code we're gonna to have to do in here, but you'll see that in a minute. Then again, we're gonna go ahead and pull out on event again. And if you click button, not spicy, we're gonna say that you are a summer person. And you can argue that it could go either way. But we're just trying to make, make a point here. And we'll go ahead and set screen again. To screen result. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and run it and test it. So start, ice cream, spicy, you are a blank person because that's what my result screen looked like. Let's run it again. Start, I'm gonna test hot tea, not spicy. And it takes me to you are a blank person. I'm gonna reset that now. Now this is where it gets a little bit, uh, maybe a little, not complicated. Like we could do it a couple different ways. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it as, uh, as simply as I can. So what I want to do is I want to create a function, okay? So a function is just like a piece of code that kind of does something. It does, it has, it's its own little section. So watch what I do here. I'm going to create a function and I'm going to call it uh, set result, okay? Because what we want to do is we want to set the result. Now watch what I do here. This is a little bit complicated if you haven't coded before. I'm gonna say var x equals max, and that's gonna be summer. And I wanna say var result equals quote summer, end quote. Okay, so what I'm saying here is that the maximum value is equal to the number of summers that we chose. So that could be one, it could be zero, it could be one, it could be two. And the result is summer. We're gonna just assume that the person chose summer. And this is where it gets a little confusing. Then I'm gonna do the following. I'm gonna do if. So I'm gonna say, now we've done summer. So if winter is greater than max, and I hit click outside that, you'll see this happen. So if winter is greater than max, the maximum number, that means that max, or sorry, winter is greater than summer. A little confusing, but trust me on this one. So that means that winter is the winner. So what I'll do is I'll say, I notice there's no var here, I'll say max equals winter. And I'll say, Result equals winter. Notice there's quotation marks here. There's quotation marks here. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is the following. On my screen result, you'll see it says label result, LBL result. I'm gonna go ahead and go to UI controls, 
I'm going to set property. Notice where that's at. This is after the blue section. Label result. The text equals you are a. I'm going to put plus result plus quote space person. I know you can't see it because it's off the screen. <laughs> Let me see if I can. Um, I'll make this a little smaller just for now. So you see label result text equals you are a plus result. Notice the quotation marks here and here, but not for result because result is a variable and this is where it comes from. Okay. So when I click button spicy, because it's the last screen before the result, I need to do the following. I need to actually call the function. So I'm going to say set result and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. You might have to like pause this and watch it. So set result. Okay. So that is the code. Okay, so let me explain this one more time and I'll show you how it works in a second. Let me explain it. So we start our program summer and winter are zero. Press the start button, it goes to from here to screen one. If I'm on screen one and I click the button ice cream, that means you're a summer person. We add one to summer and then we go to screen two. If you click button hot tea, it means you're a winter person. We add one to winter and then we go to the second screen. We're on the second screen, you ask, do you like spicy food? And if you click spicy food, winter equals, you add one to winter. We're saying spicy people like winter. And because it's the last question, we did this function called set result, which I'll explain in a second. And then we go to the screen result. Then if you're not spicy, means you're a summer person. And we, again, set the result. I'll talk about that in a second. And we set the screen to screen result. Now set result was very interesting. We assume that the maximum value is summer. So that could be zero, one, or two. And that means our result is summer. However, if winter is greater than max, so that means that oh, there are more winter choices, max is winter and result is winter. And then we just set the property of label result to the text to you are a blank result, which could be winter or summer person. And that's that. Now, if you have something like, let's say you're doing the houses for Harry Potter, you've got Gryffindor, you've got Slytherin, I forget what the other ones are, Ravenclaw, and I can't remember the last one. You'd have one, this is your default, then you have one, two, three if statements. And then this will be your last statement. Let's go ahead and run it and try it. So let's hit start. So ice cream makes, means we are a like, summer person. Spicy means we are a summer person says you're a summer person. Yay. Let's try it again. Let's go ahead and hit hot tea, not spicy. Oops, hot tea, not spicy. Let's try it again. Oh, hot tea, not spicy, summer. Okay, okay, we'll do hot tea, spicy, and you are a winter person. Now you can probably see that, okay, if there's a tie, we might have a problem, and it just kind of goes with the default. Um, depending on how you do your numbers and how many different questions you have, you may or may not have ties. If you have an odd number of questions, it's unlikely to have a tie. I think it's mathematically impossible. Um, but you kind of get the idea, hopefully, of how this works. So if you're having trouble understanding it, go back, watch the video again, you know, pause, look at the code. It's pretty, I hopefully, uh, straightforward. Okay, so you've got your screens. Um, so a main screen, a result screen, and a screen for each question. Each question screen has some choices. Each choice relates to one of the results. And then that's it. That's pretty straightforward. So hopefully, I know it was a little fast, but hopefully you can go back and catch what you need to catch from that. So anyway, thanks for watching. Keep on coding. Take care.